Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Ryan and welcome back to Iowa Classic Cars. Today in this video, I'll be telling the story of my greatest barn find ever, three 1959 Impalas, one 1959 Bel Air, and one 1960 Impala. So quickly before I start, if you do enjoy today's video, please make sure to give it a like rating before leaving, comment with your favorite car in the bunch, as well as subscribing for more videos like this of my barn finds coming weekly. I really kick myself and regret not taking more videos of this day. This was such a legendary barn find. However, we have a ton of photos and you'll be seeing a lot of them on screen now. So how this whole thing began was I sold some parts to a guy named Brad back in 2016 for a 1960 Impala. He's actually restoring a 60 Biscayne two-door sedan and he needed some trim or something miscellaneous that I had back in the day. Sold it to him, got it to him, never thought anything else of it until June 2020. So he actually messaged me out of the blue on Facebook and says, hey man, I went and saw a guy with a 1960 Impala convertible parts car, and he's also got some 59s, would you be interested? So when I heard 60 Impala convertible parts car, that had my interest. So I asked him what cars this guy had, and he said a couple 59 Impalas. So I got his phone number, I got the guy's information, and I called him. So the owner's name is Paul, and what he basically told me was he bought these cars out of wrecking yards back in the 70s and 80s, and they basically have just sat the same condition ever since. So he has essentially had these cars for at least 40 years, they've always been inside. Now the biggest thing about this is they were quite rusty because they are in Illinois, they came out of the south, so really they were never in a dry climate to begin with, and that kind of hurt the condition of the cars. However, with the cars being what they are, they are so rare to find in any condition, you have to grab them when you hear about them. So he was explaining that there was a total of five cars there. There was four 59s and 160. There were two 59 hardtops, one 59 Bel Air two-door sedan, one 59 Impala convertible, and one 1960 Impala convertible parts car. Now I had a 59 Impala convertible about two years ago and the car was actually turned over in a ditch upside down. The car was almost broken in half, it was that bad. So I sold the car just knowing I never would really get to fixing it. I've always wanted another one back and when I heard about this car, especially being factory black, I knew I had to buy it. Now the next thing he told me was kind of a bombshell because I'm nine hours from this guy and really only have one trailer and one truck. He basically told me that you have to take all the cars or none of the cars, it's an all or nothing deal, but if I wanted the convertible, I had to take all five cars. Now I'm thinking, how is one guy going to drive nine hours each way five times to pick up five rusty cars and get them back to Iowa? So I gave my good friends Dave Marshall a call. He lived up near Chicago, Illinois, so right about three hours away from this guy. And I said, hey guys, I need your help. So Marshall actually brought in his Cummins and a two-car trailer. Dave brought in a single-car trailer in his truck. And with my truck and trailer, we had a total of four spots on trailers in order to get these cars out of there. So we did have to make two trips the next day, you know, for the 60. We actually picked up the two hard tops on the two car trailer. I took the convertible home and then Dave actually grabbed the two door sedan parts car. The next morning we came back for the 60. I didn't really want the 59 Bel Air just because that car was so rough, but it did have some good trim and had some seats in it. So we decided to take it anyways. And you know, basically the guy told me it was all or nothing. So even if I bought the car and just left it there, I didn't want to do that to the old guy. I mean, he was 85 or 86 at the time, I believe. Um, he'd just broken his back. And the last thing he probably wants to do is have to deal with a rusty car sitting in his yard. So now you'll see the pictures of the convertible. The driver's side rear quarter has actually been cut open, looks like a can opener. The story I got was this car came out of a wrecking yard and what we believe happened was when they were moving this car with a skid loader, the skid loader or the bucket of the tractor just you know cut the car in half essentially. Um, it is kind of a shame, however I do have a 59 Impala Tudor hardtop um, rear half and it is factory black as well which doesn't really make a whole lot of difference since the car will get painted. Um, but I do have a clean quarter panel for this car so really it's not that bad a shape. It does need floor pans, rockers, etc. All convertibles do. The thing is, it exists, it's a 59 convertible, and it's factory black. So it can be saved, and it will be saved. One of the coolest things that happens when you're towing old cars home is a lot of people like to talk to you at gas stations and whenever you stop. You know, where'd you get the car, what year is it, what are your plans for, etc., etc. I had more people asking locally where these cars came from once we stopped at the gas station to eat and get some gas. And I basically told them, you know, the cars came from two miles down the road and everyone kind of knew about the cars, but they never knew that they were for sale. They were just, they never were for sale. The guy didn't want to sell them. Um, at the time when I bought them back in June, 2020, he was, I believe, 85 years old and he had just broken his back or broken his hip, um, but he was basically bound to a golf cart. So he couldn't really walk around a whole lot. He had to kind of drive around the yard in a golf cart. And he just figured now is the time to get rid of these cars, you know, while I still can, while I can still enjoy the money and make sure they go to a good home. So it really worked out, just kind of dumb luck and being at the right place at the right time. And 
really just having good friends there to help you out when you need it at a moment's notice. I do buy a lot of cars, I sell a lot of cars, and I have a lot of barn find stories to tell. I've never really taken any videos up until this point, and I really regret not filming the barn finds, you know, Impalas that I'm talking about here in this video. So with that being said, going forward, I'm going to start recording my travels, all my barn find videos, my car purchases, getting cars running, just because I want to look back on this stuff in 10, 15, 20 years and be able to watch what I did way back when. So if you do like watching cars being resurrected, being brought back from the dead, being pulled out of barns where they're forgotten and putting them back on the road, this is definitely the channel for you. So I would definitely encourage you to subscribe. I do not think you will be let down with the content that I'm providing weekly. But that is essentially the story of my barn find Impala horde. With all that being said, this is the conclusion of today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Ryan with Iowa Classic Cars, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.